guys, it's Marissa, and today I have a really fun, exciting video for you guys. So, I am actually refilming this intro right now, so this is not the look, this is not the outcome. Um, I filmed the intro when I filmed the video, and it was all out of focus, so, but the video is not out of focus, it was just like the intro and the outro, so, also don't mind this air mattress in the background. Um, but today we are going to be doing... I'm going to be trying out viral TikTok makeup hacks. So I've been seeing this going around. This quarantine has like TikTok being my top addiction. Go follow my TikTok. It's really embarrassing and I just dance and I don't know how and I try to be funny but I don't know how. But anyway, go follow it anyways. It's Marissa Page underscore 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 because I didn't have my name. Make sure you guys follow my TikTok. Also, we're just going to be trying out these hacks. We're just going to see if they work. We're just, we're going to find out, okay? And yeah, if you guys are new here, make sure you guys are subscribed and click the bell next to it so you guys can be notified when I upload, which I upload twice a week. And also, make sure that you guys are following all my other social medias. So I will have my Snapchat right here and then my Instagram and Twitter right here at the bottom. So make sure you guys follow those. I'm on there the most. I'm on TikTok a lot now too. Yeah, without further ado, we're just going to get right we into it. are going to start off basically the biggest TikTok makeup hack that kind of like inspired all these videos, I feel like. It's so weird. Sorry, I'm drinking coffee. Change your whole routine and try this instead. Moisturize first. Then after moisturizing, take some translucent powder. I usually use the Fit Me one and I just lightly dab it all over my face. Not too much. Then take some setting spray. It could be any setting spray. I usually use the NYX one. After the setting spray, take a primer and just put your primer. Also, wait for the setting spray to dry first. Then just put on your foundation and just see what happens and how. So I already moisturized um, literally like a few minutes ago. And I actually have the Fit Me powder, so I'm going to use that. And it said just a little bit. If you do makeup or you talk to anyone that does makeup, this is like number one rule what you're not supposed to do. That's why this trend was like, what the heck is going on? Okay, so powder, setting spray. I'm scared. I feel like the powder is just going to roll into a ball. So I'm just going to use the Tarte, the Stay Spray. And then it said let it dry. And then for primer, I'm going to use Professional the Hydrate from Benefit. Like this just feels wrong, dude. Like this feels wrong. Wrong. And I normally don't put this all over my face, so I'm just going to put this like where I normally would, I guess. Okay, I mean, it feels tacky. My skin feels tacky. Should I do my brows? Like, can I do my brows? I'm just going to do my brows like normal, I guess. Imagine being the person that posted this TikTok and now all of the world is trying it. Could you imagine? All right, I'm just going to conceal my brows real quick. I'm weird, bro. Like, I can't do my brows before foundation or after foundation, I we're going to go in with some foundation now. I'm going to be using Maybelline Fit Me, and I'm mixing it with another foundation because I know it ain't my shade, so y'all don't need to come for me. Quarantine has your girl with zero color out here, okay? Look at me. It's just so annoying because it's so sunny out, and, like, can't do anything about it. I don't have a backyard where I could, like, lay out. Yeah, my pool is closed, so, like, I can't do anything. This is what I look like. I've never self-tanned or anything, so I don't know how to do that. Should I put it on with a brush or a sponge? I'm just going to put it on how I normally do, with the brush and a sponge. Like, my skin does look actually really smooth. I just don't know how it's going to lay. That's my fear. It might be looking okay. Like, I've never seen somebody do this and it not work for them. I just have a feeling it just won't work for me. Also, my skin's crazy, so. Go back in with the sponge like I normally do. This is looking pretty good so far. I don't know. It might look okay. But my nose looks not very great. So maybe I just put too much on my nose. I don't know. Foundation is done. It looks pretty smooth. Like it looks a little bit smoother than normal, but not anything really crazy if that makes sense. So I'm gonna keep going with concealer. I feel like that is a bigger test. Also, I'm gonna try to find the original people that came up with these and posted them on TikTok. But if I can't find them, please leave them down below so I can give them credit. I feel like I never know though how my foundation looks until I've done everything. It looks okay, but I'm like worried once we put powder on, it's just gonna be a lot especially right here looks really smooth which is a big problem spot for me normally so that is telling me a lot it's just my nose that's worrying my nose is my other problem spot it's like right here on my cheeks and then my nose always look like very cakey and like textured i'm gonna apply i'm i can't talk i'm gonna apply some powder and start baking her and then i'm going to do a little bit of eyeshadow the next tip has to do with 
eyeshadow. So I'm gonna like start my eyeshadow and then I will I will meet you guys back when it's time. So I have some eyeshadow on now. So this, let's go watch her. You need to pay attention to this fucking video because I'm about to change your game. And you know the secret? Translucent powder. Translucent powder is actually what helps you fucking blend your goddamn eyeshadow. If you're in the middle of blending colors and having a bitch ass time blending a couple colors, this has changed my fucking life and I just found it out right now. So literally what you do is add translucent powder to where your colors are kind of meeting, you know? And you just fucking blend the translucent powder out and it blends the fucking colors of the eyeshadow. Oh y'all an example. There's only trans the amount of times powder on this. She says the F word is literally me, bro. Brush. And look how beautifully this blends out. And that's how they do it, you guys. Okay, so I'm going to take some translucent powder on this brush. Only has been used with translucent powder. I used it to like set my lids. So we're gonna go back in with her. And I have just like you can see hopefully the end of this a little. And we're just gonna test this theory out. Oh. Okay, I don't know. That made the color like dusty. Okay, I'm gonna try more towards the brow bone because that's, it looks like that's where she was blending like her eyeshadow in with like her brow bone color, which I have a little mistake right here that I will do. Yeah, I'll blend it over here too. Okay, so my verdict is you can't use this if you're blending like two colors together which is kind of what she said in the video but if you're blending like your colors into your brow bone because okay because if you're blending two colors together it starts making the colors morphed it starts making them look gray which was kind of my fear of doing this because i tried it on my outer corner because that's where normally when i'm mixing like a bunch of dark colors on my outer corner is where i have the most trouble and it started making it look funky and gray so i was like oh no but then i did it on my brow bone and it makes it blend seamlessly into your brow bone so for that you're blending your colors into your brow bone amazing 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 but if you're mixing this is my own trick that I've learned over the years if you're mixing colors together and you can't get them to blend I always go back to my very first transition shade so like I was using this is a soft glam palette I was using this color in sienna on the outer corner and I couldn't get it to blend and then I added the translucent that was like a no so then I went in with my first color my first like transition shade that I used which is orange soda because it's gonna tie it into the look without like destroying the color if that makes sense but it still gives it something to work with so that's what I would recommend like I said I think the tip does work it was just at least to me it was unclear because I was like oh I can use it to blend two colors together no not really okay so the next tip isn't until we start putting on some highlights so I'm going to fast forward till then so you guys aren't sitting here waiting while I do the rest of my makeup so i will see you guys when we put on some highlight okay guys next next trick next hack next okay so this one is with highlight okay guys well i don't know where the tiktok is i hopefully will find it and insert it here for you i remember what she did it wasn't very hard so what she did was she took her beauty blender and it, like a damp beauty blender so i just wet mine which i know mine looks like trash she's gonna go in the garbage soon i promise this is 90 percent of my skin issues i already know but anyway so instead of putting on your highlight with a brush we're gonna use a wet beauty blender and it's supposed to make your highlight freaking popping which i believe because do you guys remember i used to like if you watch a lot of my videos i used to spray my face with setting spray and then put on my highlight so it would be like super popping but it never blended really well so this is supposed to help like it's supposed to blend seamlessly and it's supposed to be like boom so i'm taking my favorite highlight i'm scared this is gonna like i don't know what this is gonna look like i'm a little scared and we're just gonna dab her on oh it looks very natural actually maybe i need it to be more wet no wet her up ew <laughs> just kidding <laughs> ew <laughs> why would i say that okay like, am I getting enough? Oh, there she is. Holy moly. Can you guys see that? <gasps> Ooh. Oh, that is so pretty. And it blends, like, so nice. Like, <gasps> this might be the move, y'all. Dragging it in. Like, I don't know what to do with it. Okay. 
Oh my gosh. Okay, so I definitely like this hack. I'm gonna finish my highlight. But yeah, I definitely like that. This would be a really pretty hack if you're like not doing a full face too. Like a lot of times if I don't wear any makeup or if I'm wearing like no face makeup, I'll go in with just some highlight, but that would be a really pretty way for it to look like super natural, like super in your skin. Also guys, my skin is looking pretty smooth. I'm not mad at her. Like right here is normally where I have a lot of problems and it looks really smooth. The only thing is like right in between my brows kind of looks cakey, so maybe next time I just wouldn't put like the powder there or something, I don't know. I always have problems right in here, but it's because my hair grows so fast that like, it's literally the hairs, my eyebrow hair growing in. Like my highlight is popping, bro. And last but not least, we have lipstick. Let me find, let me find it. Okay, well it's fine because I'm gonna find it and I'll insert it. But anyway, basically what you do is you take an eyeshadow and some clear lip gloss. So let me grab my clear lip gloss. Put it on this nice notebook. All I'm doing is I'm gonna drape the eyeshadow and then mix it with the clear gloss and then it's gonna be a lipstick. So I'm taking this, this is the Private Private Society palette in Girl Boss. So anyway, so I'm gonna scrape some of this in brunch. It's like a orangey tone, scraping it. This is a little DIY. Ooh, ooh, don't do that. You can see I scraped a little. <laughs> and then I'm just mixing it with some gloss. I'm gonna mix it with a brush so I can put it on with a brush. Oh, this is gonna be low key dark. Ooh, I'm just gonna put it on. <gasps> ooh, it's pretty actually. This is actually really pretty. Not too dark. So these are the lips if you guys didn't get a good view. They look really good for freaking eyeshadow. Alright guys, that was the entire video. I hope you guys really enjoyed. If you did, please give this video a big thumbs up and make sure you guys are subscribed so you guys can see my video next Monday or Thursday. And yeah, I will see you guys next time.